Blue Green deployment is used to reduce downtime and risk. Today we're going to create AWS application load balancer and two deployments, blue and green. And we're gonna start shifting traffic from one to another. If we discover a problem in a new deployment, we can always roll back and switch to the previous version. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be using two private subnets with a default route to the NAT gateway. We're gonna launch EC2 instances in those subnets. Also, we will create an application load balancer in public subnets with a default route to the internet gateway. For ALB, at least two subnets in two different availability zones must be specified. First of all, let's create versions TF Terraform file and define constraints for AWS provider and Terraform itself. Now let's create main TF file and define some local variables that we're going to use throughout the Terraform code. First one is VPC ID. Let's grab it from the console and paste it here. The next four are subnets IDs. Let's fill them up from the AWS console. The last local variable is Ubuntu AMI. Let's use Ubuntu 24 for our deployment. Now let's define AWS provider. There are multiple ways how you can authenticate with AWS. You can use either environment variables or create AWS profile. Since blue-green deployment is an advanced topic, I'm not going to cover it. Let's create a security group that we're going to use for both application load balancer and EC2 instances. Let's open inbound port 80 for our Nginx and open all outbound ports. The next step is to create an application load balancer. Let's use our local variables to provide subnet IDs. Let's also attach our security group to ALB that we just created. ALB requires us to define a load balancer, listener, and provide default action to point to the target group that we're going to create next. It's time to define our blue deployment. Let's create blue TF Terraform file. And let's create AWS instance Terraform resource that will represent the EC2 instance. Also, let's create user data script that will be run once when the virtual machine boots up. And let's give it a tag with the version of the application. When we have it, we can define load balancer target group with the health check and attach our EC2 instances to the target group. Now we need to define user data script. Let's create init script sh and specify steps to install Nginx with the custom web page. We also need a couple of Terraform variables. The first one is enable blue env, which enables a blue environment. The second one is blue instance count, which defines the number of instances in the blue environment. The last file before we run Terraform is output variable with DNS name of the application load balancer. Finally, we can run Terraform init to download AWS provider and run Terraform apply to create all those resources that we define in our code. We can find EC2 instances in AWS console and target group and application load balancer as well. Let's run for loop to curl our load balancer. We should only see blue deployment and get response from different replicas since we have two of them. Now it's time to create a new green deployment. It's going to be identical to blue, except the version will be higher. We're going to have EC2 instance Terraform resource, then load balancer target group, and finally load balancer target group attachment. Let's also add three new variables. Enable green environment, number of instances in green environment, and level of traffic distribution. In main TF file, we need to add another local variable that represents level of traffic distribution between blue and green deployment. At this stage, we can perform either 100% switch to the new environment or use canary deployment and start slowly shifting traffic by a few percent to the green deployment. The last change that we're going to make is to update load balancer default action. Instead of hard coding target group IRN, we will use forward block and add two target groups with a weight parameter to control traffic distribution and add stickness. Now it's time to test and start shifting traffic to the new green deployment. Let's use traffic distribution blue 90 to send only 10% to the green deployment. To test, let's run our curl script. Roughly only 10% goes to green version 1.1. Now let's split traffic 50-50 between those deployments. Finally, let's completely switch to the new green deployment and disable blue environment. To verify, let's run our script and we can see that we are getting response only from the new green deployment. 
now to upgrade your deployment to the next version, you just need to update blue version and start shifting traffic to it. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.